Welcome back to American Soul Season 2. You already know what time it is, your boy DC on fly, playing Sly, from the Sly and the Family Stones, man, right here on America Soul, man, Yo, BT, you did. When they called me for the, for the role, I looked him up, and I'm like, all right, that's pretty cool, little Funkadelic, you know, psychedelic kind of, kind of, kind of guy. He's a real soft-spoken kind of guy. As we got more and more to, with the, with the role, they told me I got to go record the music, so I'm like, all right, it's going to be more than just lip syncing. I go to the studio, they got baby face in them. Girl, they got, girl, they got baby face, girl. This season was um, a lot of fun because we, we got to go down a road that is so unexpected. DC Young Fly, he was just so enthusiastic about it and he came in and I didn't know what to expect. He gave it everything and his energy was right. He didn't necessarily sound like Sly, but his energy was right. Everybody came in with their A game, from the Pointer Sister song to Chaka Khan with Melanie, uh, Lady Marmalade with Let Us See. Big boy, he's like George Clinton. You know, he's he's a master of ceremonies himself. They were students of music, and they they actually studied it. You know, whatever the song that they had to work on, they actually studied it. And they were also fans of the artists, so it wasn't as difficult to uh, for them to understand kind of the vibe that they had to have. You don't release music just because you have it. You got to be strategic. It was definitely an honor, you know, to be a part of the series. Uh, George Clinton is one of my idols, like one of my favorite people in the world, you know what I mean? Uh, it's one of the reasons why I started making music, so able to portray him in such a, a great role in a real life scenario of a Soul Train, Day in Soul Train, Life of Soul Train, the Duncan Ellis is, is dope. Being on set, watching these people transform into these characters, and the music going, as I'm looking around, I don't feel like I'm in a movie. I kind of feel like I'm in a warp zone, and I'm going back in time. It is a dream come true. All of my dreams, my fashion dreams, my soul dreams, my Afro dreams, it's just iconic. She's iconic. With Chaka Khan, as embodied as an artist, as a woman, um, a sex symbol, just power, strength, talent, goddessness, just everything. Um, she's always been such a huge inspiration, so this is literally a dream come true, for real. I think the idea of, of these actors in the world that we, we all grew up with and, as it relates to Don Cornelius and his story and, and the Soul Train dancers and imagining all the, all the different experiences that everyone had in going to that show, and from the dancers to the performers that are there. Soul Train went on for years, and we're just at the very beginning of it, so it, it, it's a fun thing, it's a fun thing to do, fun thing to be a part of.